Hi, I'm Maggie Gill of Fire Science, and I'm here to talk to you about AAA laps and beekeeping. And this is one of a series of um, short films. Today, I'm going to tell you about uh, brood uncapping as a detection method for AAA laps. It's probably the most reliable method of um, detecting AAA laps in a colony. When carrying out an inspection, you need to select uh, a, a frame with a lot of sealed brood on it. Um, so a frame like this can be, can be quite good. Um, so you will need to uncap a uh, hundred cells. AAA laps don't seem to show a preference for um, drone brood or worker brood. Um, so you can uncap either. You might prefer to uncap drone brood, um, but we're going to use some worker brood. These bees are pretty placid, so I can sit in the apiary and do this without my veil. It's important that you have good lighting so that you're able to see the mites. Um, also, a hand lens is useful for mag magnification. Um, if you're not comfortable sitting out in the apiary, take your frame uh, indoors so you can do this indoors or sit in your car and uncap. Um, it's really important that you're able to concentrate and not be distracted while you're doing this technique. I'm going to uncap 100 brood cells, pull out the brood and examine that for mites. Because I do this a lot, I have um, a metal rhombus template that will mark out 100 cells. Um, you can make something out of uh, something similar out of cardboard. Um, alternatively, you can just uncap a row of 10 cells, move down to the next row uh, and uncap the next row of 10 cells and do, do that 10 times. That, that's an easy way to do it. Um, as you can see here, I've got a nice uh, frame of sealed brood and I'm just going to select an area uh, with lots of sealed brood and place my rhombus over the top. Ideally, you want to uncap brood at the pink-eyed pupil stage. It's not always easy to tell the developmental age of brood um, in sealed uh, cells, so it's not essential, um, but just select your area of brood and begin to uncap. So carefully remove the wax cappings from the cell and pull out the larvae. If possible, try not to damage uh, the, the brood because you want to examine it for mites. Um, as the, the brood is white, you should be able to see uh, the small brown AAA laps mites um, on the white brood. Uh, but you have to remember they are very small. They are only one millimetre long by half a millimetre wide. Once you've uncapped your 100 cells, it's a good idea to gently blow over the uncapped cells as this can make any AAA laps that are in the bottom of the cells run out uh, and you'll be able to see them. Another option is to use hair removal strips to remove a section of sealed brood. Um, this technique is a lot quicker than using tweezers to uncap brood um, and it makes it easier with the brood removal. Once you've uncapped the cells, you can um, blow over the top to encourage the mites to come out of the cells. If you see AAA laps, or you suspect you do when you do this inspection, they are a statutory notifiable pest, so you need to inform the National Bee Unit. If you want to find out more about AAA laps, then you can follow our videos or visit our website.